Hi everyone, in this video we're going to learn about Python namespaces and the scope of your variables. A namespace is used by the Python interpreter to track all objects in your program. It maps variable names to their corresponding object. There are both local and global variable namespaces. Global variables are tracked in the global namespace and local variables are tracked in the local namespace. And your variables have a scope and this means where the variable is visible. The scope of a variable can be local, so if you create a variable within a function, the variable only lives inside that function, and outside the function, it's not accessible. And then there's global variables, so if you create a variable outside of a function, then the scope is global to your whole program. Global variables can also be updated with a global statement. You can also use the locals function or globals function to see the variables of your program. So let's try out some examples and see what variable scope is all about. So to better understand the scope of local and global variables, let's first create a function. We'll call it hello, and it will print hello. It's not doing anything special. And just to make sure it's working, let's call the hello function. All right, it works. Cool, let's, next let's create a variable a and set that to five. Can I print five within my function? Can I print that variable A? Sure can, prints out five. What if I move this code down here? Can I print the variable A outside of the function? I can't, I'm getting an error because A is not defined. A only lives in the function from where it's declared and below. So I can't do that. But I can create another variable A outside of the function and set that to something different. Before I even print what that is, let's print out A over here. So this A that's printing is the one that belongs within the same scope within the function. So it's gonna print out five. And then the A I'm gonna print out here is gonna be the global scope A. This will give me 10, so I'm getting five for the a that belongs to the function and 10 for the variable a that belongs outside the function. So notice that I'm using the same variable, but they both have completely different scopes. So there's, it's okay for me to use that same variable in different places. If you had a couple other variables like b is six and c is seven, inside your function, you can do something like this. Let's print locals. Let's see all the local variables inside this function. And you check this out, this is what that printed out. It printed out A is five, B is six, and C is seven. Okay, it didn't print out that A is 10. So that's how you could see all your local variables and understand which variables belong to the scope of this function. Let's also copy this print statement and print it out outside the function and see what it does. Print locals down here in the bottom. And you know, we get something much bigger. And notice if you scroll all the way to the right, it tells you that A is 10, and it doesn't show you the, the variables that belong to the hello function, A, B, and C, whose values are five, six, and seven.